planting and you apply any DAP fertilizer, this crop or this plant has not uh, come out of the stress, stress stage. So it might not manage to use this, your DAP very well. So most of it will end up being leached out. That's why we recommend that you top dress with DAP from the 10th day after transplanting. At least this crop has developed some root hairs that will be able to absorb the DAP. In an acre, at least do 100 kgs, minimal 100 kgs. For manure in an acre, you can do 5, five tons to 10 tons. Okay. Now for DAP, at least do 100 kgs. Okay. Then 30 days from you've transplanted. This is the end of the first month, which we usually call the establishment stage. Establishment stage is when now this crop tries to grow and grow. Now, on the 30th or 31st that day, you can apply NPK 1717. NPK fertilizer 1717. This one will help. It has a balanced blend of nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, and it will help in root growth, foliar growth, stem growth, all that. And it will also help in now bulb formation because it has also the potassium. And that's why we are applying it on the 30th day, okay? Or that first, the end of the first stage and the beginning of the second stage of bulb formation. Bulb formation always takes stage from the second month. Okay, so introducing the NPK, it will enhance the formation of the bulb. Then, from the 61st day, this is the last month, and this month, this is the bulb enlargement stage. The bulb was formed in the second month. Now, on the third month, it is the bulb enlargement stage. At this stage, we recommend that you top dress with CAN, a same rate of 100 kgs. Okay. Even in the side of NPK, it's the same rate, 100 kgs. So you apply CAN 100 kgs at the 61st or the 62nd day after transplanting. Okay. Then there are two things that you have to watch out. All you have to ensure when you are top dressing one ensure that you only top dress when the soil is wet if it's dry immediately after top dressing then carry out the irrigation this one will help the absorption of the nutrients but if you apply the fertilizer and you don't uh, do the irrigation 50 percent won't be used and it will be just a waste okay and that's where we were saying you need a start by system for irrigation that you can use especially now at this stage and the other thing don't pour the fertilizers on the leaves it will scorch them and they will dry also don't let the fertilizer come into contact with the stem of the barb onion it will scorch them too okay so that's how you should apply fertilizers successfully and these rates don't go for minimum remember how well you feed your barb onions will determine the yield that you will get. If you apply 2 kgs in an acre, don't blame me for getting less than a ton per acre.